Hey, Westwood Charter, welcome back. Um, here again for some remote learning. Um, we're gonna continue with our soccer lesson. Um, we're gonna need a ball once again. Students, if you don't have a ball, soccer ball or a bouncy ball, please reach out to your teachers. Teachers, reach out to me. We'll try to get you one, okay? But for this lesson, uh, we need a ball, okay? And then we also need some four t-shirts okay four t-shirts shorts any articles of clothing we're gonna need four of them okay um so we're gonna go over some real basic stuff and then it's gonna get more advanced um and so this will be great for my younger students the first part of it and like i said third fourth and fifth it gets more advanced which would be um, better for you but listen if you're a soccer player and you're in the first grade and you play club soccer and and you've been playing soccer you know for a while then you can do the more advanced stuff okay that's fine some of the easy stuff may be too easy for you um, and in those same regards if you're a fifth grade student and you don't really play soccer uh, which is totally fine quite all right not everyone likes sports you don't have to like sports um, but with that being said if you you know, haven't had too much experience with playing the game or, um, you know, your skill level is a little lower, then you might want to start with some of the easier stuff, okay? Um, so it kind of depends on your skill level, I guess, as opposed to the grade level. Um, but obviously the easier stuff we're going to start with would be great for my kinder, TK, and first grade, okay? But yeah, base it off your skill level. Okay, if you play soccer club all the time, you know where you're at, okay? If the only time you play soccer is when you come to PE at Westwood, then we might need to, to start lower, okay? All right, so got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and just warm up, okay? We'll warm up real quick, do some of our stretches, and then we'll go from there, okay? Let's just go ahead and jog in place real quick, warm our bodies, get our legs up. Knees up, do these things, tap your ankles, and good, all right? So remember, just touch your toes, keep your knees straight, stretch the hamstrings, hold it for 10 seconds, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Legs apart, go down to your right. Hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten all right feel it stretch your hamstrings okay so got our hamstrings stretched out let's go ahead and do our quads okay remember our quads this one let's pull 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, stretched out our quads. Um, remember, when you do the quad stretch, you got to pull it and feel the stretch, okay? Just don't stand on one leg, all right? Um, let's go ahead and stretch out our growing area. This, bend one knee, keep this straight. Ten seconds to go. One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten other way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um, let's go ahead and do the butterfly real quick remember press down ten seconds go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
And last, let's do our calves, okay? Since we're playing soccer, stretch our legs, calves. Put that heel down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, okay, so we got a good stretch there. Um, I'm not gonna try to waste too much time in these videos with stretching um, and exercising for the skill videos. I just wanna get right into it because they're probably gonna take a while. Um, but remember, we must stretch before we do the stuff like this. Um, hold the stretches for 10 seconds, okay? Um, don't hold it less than 10 seconds, okay? Um, all right, so let's get into this lesson right here. Okay, first thing I need you to do is get one of your articles of clothing This is great for my TKK first graders. We're just gonna learn how to kick and I want you to put a... We also if you have a wall probably gonna do this outside We're not doing this inside a wall something you can kick the ball against that would be great if we don't have a wall uh, we're going to need a partner, all right? So you're going to have to get your parents involved, your brothers, your sisters, cousins, friends, okay? Because um, we need at least a wall to kick against or a person to kick the ball back to us, okay? Um, so here we go. I'm going to put the ball there. See this shirt? It's about that far back, okay? That shirt is where I'm gonna put my opposite foot when I step to kick the ball, all right? We're gonna practice kicking with the inside of our foot. So when we go to kick, we have to turn our foot like we're opening a door, okay? Um, inside of our foot, and I'm just gonna kick it against the bottom of the wall. When it comes back, we're gonna trap the ball. The way we trap the ball, little ones, is by stepping on it with the top of our foot or just sticking it out um, and putting our foot out there to stop it. Okay, um, but I like stepping on it. Okay, so we're gonna do five kicks with the inside of our left. Well, I'm left footed, so we're gonna start left, but we're gonna do both feet. So whichever foot you wanna start with, okay? Um, we're gonna turn, step right in front of where my shirt is. That's where I'm gonna put my opposite foot. I'm gonna turn my left foot and kick it the inside of my foot, okay? Five times, ready? It's gonna be like this, run up. Step, turn, kick, stop. Ready? Real time. Stop. That's two. Ready? Stop it. Remember, turning our foot this way. That's three. Two more. Remember, that shirt is where you're going to put your opposite foot. It's a little bit in front of the ball. If you step too far in front of the ball, you're going to trip over the ball. If you step too far behind the ball, you're going to miss it, okay? And you're going to fall, all right? So it's about a, one step behind the ball is where that opposite foot goes, okay? Here's the last one. Step. Kick. Okay. Turn it with the inside of our foot, okay? Now, same foot, we're going to use the top of our foot, all right? So, when we go to kick, run, boom, right here. So we're not opening it, we're pointing it down, okay? And we're gonna kick right there with our shoelaces, okay? That's how we get a powerful shot, all right? So if we want power, we use that one, okay? If we want accuracy, we use the inside, all right? So we're gonna do five times at the top of our foot. Looks like this. All right, stop it. That's one, here we go. That's two. Bend that foot like that. Ready? Ooh. Three, two more. See that step? Boom. 
go. One more. So, all we're doing, running up to the ball, making sure you get your plant foot in the right spot. Turning our foot inside to kick with the inside. Turning our foot down to kick with our laces, okay? We're gonna do that five times. I want you to do that on both feet, okay? So after you do your left foot, I want you to switch and do it with your right foot, okay? All the best soccer players know how to, know how to use both feet, okay? so. Start you young if you're able to do that um, at a young age, then you're already ahead of the game. Okay, so that is simply kicking. All right, remember if we want to practice trapping, we just step on the ball like this, stop it. All right, stick your foot out or just stop it by sticking your foot out like that, okay? So, all right. So we trap it by just stepping on it or putting our foot out, okay? So that is the real basic way to kick a soccer ball, okay? Um, all right, um, we're gonna work on a little bit of dribbling, okay? Um, just remember, when we dribble, we wanna keep the ball close to us, okay? We don't wanna kick the ball 10 yards in front of us and then run after the ball and kick it again, okay? Um, we wanna do little tiny touches between our feet with the ball right here, okay? Um, something real quick I want everyone to do is just work on our touches. We're just gonna do this, okay? Everyone just toe tap the ball about 20 times, all right? Okay, keeps us light on our feet, all right? Um, so we're just gonna do a little bit of dribbling. Like I said, boys and girls, students, we only need not that much space, okay? I only have about six or seven feet here, all right? So, um, way we're gonna practice on dribbling right now, it's gonna be really simple, take a Take one of your shirts, put it on one side. Take another one. Put it about, it depends how much space you have, five, six feet. If you have a bunch of space, you can make it as long as you want. I'm in a video, I have to keep it so you guys can see me, so I'm in a short space, okay? But use all the space you guys have, okay? Um, all we're gonna do is dribble around that shirt, come back, I'm gonna dribble around this shirt, and I'm just gonna keep dribbling around the shirts, okay? Remember, um, small touches, okay? Just like this. Tiny touches. Go the other way. Tiny touches. Okay, and we're just dribbling around both shirts, okay, in a big circle. All right. Um, remember, small touches between your feet. We don't do this. We don't. Ball's gonna get away from you. Huh? Alright, now it's this. Okay. Don't get dizzy. Um yeah, remember, don't just kick it and run after it. The other team's just gonna take it from you if you do that. When we're dribbling. Got to keep the ball close to our feet, okay? Um, for my more advanced students, if you want to do from shirt to shirt and just make a move like a turn, you can do like a something like this. 
Dribble, dribble. Once you get to the shirt, do a behind your heel. This way. This way. This way. This way. So you're just practicing on the ball, going behind your ankle and turning. You can also just do a step. Step on it and turn. Just step it on the ball. So you're just pulling the ba uh, ball back with the top of your foot, okay? Um, there's so many turns I could teach you, but uh, we'll just start with those two. So behind your ankle and then just the, the pull back, okay? All can be used in a game, all right? Um, so yeah, now we're going to put two more shirts in and we're gonna use these as cones to dribble through like a zigzag, okay? Look like this. So now we're just going to uh, dribble in between every shirt, okay? Um, still using tiny touches with our feet, all right? Ready? Look like this. All right, just through. Okay, tiny touches, zigzagging in and out of every shirt, coming back the other way. For my more advanced students, we can do just a one touch through every shirt. So it'd look like this. I messed that up, but... You get my point? So just one touch that way, one touch back, one touch, one touch, okay? Um, for my younger students, less advanced, we need to do tiny touches to get through, okay? But if you can practice just doing one all the way through, it's good. Uh, something good to practice, okay? Um, and then, like I said, kids start slow work your way up some of you might might need to be even walking okay some of us might need to be like this okay nice and slow nice and easy okay if you don't kick a soccer ball around that much then um that would be good for you okay Go slow first and then uh, work your way up. As soon as you get more comfortable, um, then you can start going faster. Okay? All right. We're going to work on some juggling. Okay? So, one of the best things to help soccer players with their touch. Uh, what I mean touch is... When the ball comes to them, they're able to trap the ball and keep the ball close to them. It doesn't bounce off of them and, and go five, six feet from their body so the, the defensive player can just take it, all right? So one awesome way to do that is to just practice juggling, okay? Um, I used to do it all the time as a kid. It's something you can do on your own. You don't need anyone else. All you need is a ball, okay? And it's really beneficial for soccer players, okay? Um, I'm going to start with the most basic one, which is going to be for my TKK, even first grade. This is great for working on your hand-eye coordination, uh, foot-eye coordination. All right. Um, it's great for that. 
it is so hard to juggle a soccer ball at your age. Um, so how we build our way up with that, we're just gonna do this, okay? We're gonna use our hands, hold the ball. You're just gonna drop it and try to kick it and catch it, okay? So it'll look like this. I want you to kick it with the top of your foot to start. All right, ready? Okay, drop it out of your hands, kick it and catch it. Okay. Three, four, five, okay? Simply drop it, kick it, catch it. Do that with your other foot. Be like this, top of your foot. Catch it. Okay, harder than you think, especially for a five-year-old, okay? Um, do it with the top of your feet, and then you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna use the inside of your feet. You're just gonna drop it and go like this, okay? You like this. Okay. All right, five times with your other one. Ooh. Drop it, catch it. Okay. Okay, do five on each foot. Five top, five on the inside. Do it with both feet, okay? And then, once you get that, maybe you try to do it twice and catch it. Okay, so it'll look like this. Okay, other foot, okay, if you get good with doing one, build your, up, your way up to two, okay, another thing, we're, we don't do any heading, okay, when we're young, we don't do any heading, um, please no heading, just not even practicing, there's no need to head the ball 100 times on your head not good for us when we're young um, but we can use our knees this age so you can do this great for hand-eye coordination for my young ones okay bounce it off your knee and catch it do your other leg all right you can try to do it twice catch it Okay, if you can do it once, do it twice, and if you can do it three times, do it three times. Now, we're gonna go try to hit our foot, then our knee, and catch it. Okay, look like this. A lot harder than it looks. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, and then once you get good with that, um, when we juggle, all we're doing is we're just trying to keep the ball in the air without it touching the ground, okay? You can use your feet or your knees. Like I said, I don't recommend using your head, not until you get older. And I mean, there's people that can juggle 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 times. I know you may think that that's absurd, but it's true. Some of the greats can just juggle all day. And I'm sure some of my soccer players know that also. So, yes, you can practice juggling all day. So when we get good or better, we just, okay. We're just trying to keep the ball up in the air. Okay. Then you can use your knees. Okay. So we're trying to keep the ball up in the air without it touching the ground as many times as we can, okay? And like I said, even the great soccer players still practice juggling even when they're, they're pros, okay? Um, so yeah, um, let's see here. I wanna teach you guys a couple moves. You know, we got time, might as well, okay? So,
couple moves for my more advanced students. Really simple one. Um, when you want to juke somebody or fake somebody out. Is you simply push it this way and then cut in with the inside of your foot. So you're going to tap it with the outside of your foot and then you just kind of croif them and you just cut over. Okay, so you just this way, this way, this way, and then you cut this way. Okay, or right, so you have them. You have them lean in that way, and then you cut the ball back across you. Um, okay, step over move is when you're just dribbling, and you step over the ball, and then you take the ball this way. All right. So we're dribbling, dribbling, step over. The player freezes, and now you have them off balance, and you can either go this way, go this way. That's called the step over. Once again. Okay. All right. You can get fancy and do double step overs, uh, but that's a step over, okay? So... There you go. There's two advanced moves you can do right there. Um, yeah, the Cruyff, get them leaning one way and just cut it back. And then uh, the step over right there, okay? So, yeah, boys and girls, work on your dribbling, work on your just kicking, work on your passing, and work on your juggling, okay? I'm telling you, juggling's the best thing we can do, all right? Um, thank you, everyone. Hope I didn't forget anything. Just a quick review, when we're dribbling, keep the ball close to you. When you want to kick with power, we use the top of our foot. If you want to kick with accuracy, inside of your foot. What I mean by accuracy, I mean you want the ball to go to a particular spot. All right, a corner in the goal, or you want to make a beautiful pass to your teammate. Um, it's best to use the inside of our foot, okay? All right, man. I think that's it and keep practicing because we're going to be back at school soon all right later